guys and welcome to the channel. This is Chris Time FK7. My name is Chris and I make videos on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time I make videos. Now with that being said, this is the five things that I absolutely hate about this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. And before we get started, just a disclaimer, these are my opinions and you may or may not agree with me. So Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think that you absolutely hate about this car. I also did a video where the five things that I absolutely love about this car. But today we're going to be talking about the five things that I hate. Let's go. The first thing that I want to mention is the plastic on this car because half of this car is actually plastic. Let me explain. If you go in the front, this right here is plastic. This whole entire grill is plastic, as well as this bumper. That's plastic. This part, this, all of this, pretty much all of this is plastic, okay? Now if we go to the side of the vehicle, this right here is plastic. The side skirt, that's plastic. And all of this, that's also plastic. Let me take you to the back. So now we're in the back of the vehicle. This right here is plastic. Also this, all of this is plastic. Um, and then ignore this, but the top spoiler, that's also plastic. So that's one of my hates about this car because 50% of this exterior is just plastic and like, you can tell that it's plastic because if you knock on it, it's gonna make that hollow plasticky sound. Um, now, what's concerning me is when in the summer when it becomes really hot, the, the plastic might expand uh, or it might crack. So that's why in the previous generations, you're gonna see a gap on their bumper uh, because again, it's plastic and over time, the bumper can be damaged uh, resulting in kind of an uneven bumper. So that's my first hate about this car. Let's talk about number two. So the second thing that I want to talk about is that this car stock does not come with a wing. So unlike the Type R, um, I know, you know, this isn't a Type R, but this Honda Civic Sport hatch or any Honda hatchback 10th gen, um, it doesn't feel right with a wing, um, whether it could be um, like this Type R wing or a lip, but stock, this looks a little bit off. So in my opinion, I think all 10th gen hatchback Civics in general should have some sort of big wing or a lip uh, because it doesn't really look right without it, but that's just my opinion. Um, so moving on to the next one. So now the third thing that I wanna talk about that I absolutely hate about this car is of course the performance. Now, it's not really a bad thing, but the performance on this car is really lacking, um, in my opinion, because stock, this comes with a 180 horsepower engine, I'd say inline four turbocharged engine, which you may remember on my last video where I discussed the five things that I absolutely love about this car, where I talked about the reliability of this car and how easy it is to modify. But if you're not going to be modifying the engine stock, this has 180 horsepower. Zero to 60 is just about under seven seconds. So you're kind of in that range of six and a half to seven-ish seconds. Now those times aren't official. So I'm going to be doing more testing on this car, zero to 60. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, the, the performance on this vehicle is very lacking. I tend to use the regular drive mode when I'm driving in the city. And then sometimes I'll put it into sport mode but, but regular mode and sport mode doesn't really make a difference. Because this car looks so aggressive, it looks like a fast car, but in reality, it's really not a fast car. Uh, of course, you can do modifications, um, but if you're planning on not doing any modifications performance-wise, then it, the performance stage is very lacking. But since this is my car, um, I will be doing more performance mods to help improve the performance of this vehicle. So. I'll be taking that 180 horsepower engine and maybe stepping it up a little bit uh, with mods. So right now I only have a short ram intake, which really doesn't really help because it doesn't increase horsepower that much. 
Um, if it does, then it's only gonna be like a couple of horsepower, but you can get cold air intakes and get a tune for that to get that highest potential plus 15 horsepower or more for that cold air intake. All right, so number four that I really hate about this car is the headlights. Now, I like the design of the headlights. I just don't like on the sport hatch, it has your halogen bulbs out of the factory. With this being a 2021 model, you'd expect to have LED as standard. LED standard you can get on a sport touring, but on the sport hatch, you have the halogens, which day one I changed out. So if you wanna take a look at that video, be sure to check out my other videos. I'll also be linking it down in the description. So day one, I changed these halogens to LED uh, because I really didn't want to roll with those halogens uh, because it is a 2021 and I just want to be in the present day, not in the past. So with the LED lights, it's going to make the car look a lot better, a lot more modern, whereas the halogen, it's going to make the car look like it's at least five to 10 years older. So that's what I did the very first day. And speaking of lights, on the side of the vehicle, you have your side markers uh, out of the factory. It's like this orange reflective side marker. And I've always complained, even on my review of this vehicle, on my review, I said that I really didn't like that orange reflective side marker, uh, which I also changed along with the headlights. So if you don't check that video out, be sure to look at my description and check out my other videos for installation and a little before and after. So this is a side marker that I put in. I put in a smoked LED side marker. Uh, now this is supposed to be a switchback side marker, but I wanted to play it safe and I cut off that wire uh, that you would be connecting to your turn signal wire. Uh, so I was a little scared of doing that myself, so I ignored it and I just stuck with this regular white LED that the side marker had. So it's basically just plug and play to into your old halogen bulb. And I do highly suggest that you also will change it, whether if you get the smoke one or the clear side marker. All right, so the fifth and final thing that I absolutely hate about this car is the speakers. So this car comes with a 180 watt sound system with a total of eight speakers. And so the first thing when I did, when I tried out the speakers, I immediately pumped up the bass. Uh, which you can go into your settings and adjust uh, because this car doesn't have as much bass as I want it to be. Also, what I noticed was the speakers on the door when you're playing loud music, you can hear like a rattling, like something's loose. So that kind of drives me crazy. And the way that I get rid of that noise is I would bang on the door or rest my arm on the door so that that noise can go away but once I take my arm off, that noise will be back. It's like a rattling noise and it drives me absolutely nuts when I'm trying to listen to my music. So that's the fifth thing that I hate about this car. Just a little bonus for you. I also hate um, how you get in the car, especially during the winter and you start the car and it takes about 10 minutes to actually get the heater to run uh, because you know during the winter season, when I'm about to go to work, even if I start it like 10 minutes before I go to work, it's still gonna be a little cold in the car. You would have to make the engine warm by driving it around for about like 10 or 15 minutes, uh, depending on how fast you're driving. So if you're in the city and you're not really moving that fast, the heater is not gonna work. Um, so that's what I absolutely hate about this car. Um, so during the winter, when I get in the car, going to work, um, I'm cold, like half the trip, because it takes a while for the heater to actually heat up because it uses the heat from the engine and that engine doesn't heat up until 10 or 15 minutes of me driving. Um, so that's a little bonus, but it's not nothing too major. Of course, you know, you just have to bundle up, but the heater works, uh, you just have to wait uh, more than usual. But yeah, back to the video. So those are the five things that I absolutely hate about this vehicle. And you may or may not agree with me. Uh, again, these are my opinions. So comment down below, what are the five things that you hate about this vehicle? The five things that I said that I hate about this car doesn't mean that I regret my purchase. This car is actually one of the best purchases that I've made so far. So I really do love this car, but having those five negative things doesn't really mean that I absolutely hate this car. All right guys, so that about wraps up this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video, or if you have any suggestions that I should be making on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch, or any video suggestions that you want me 
to upload on my channel and I do read all the comments uh, and I do try to reply to each and every one of you. Again, thank you all for your support. Be sure to use that code CTFK7 to get an additional 10% off all last fit items. That includes floor mats, light bulbs, fog lights, everything on last fit and i do highly highly recommend getting last fit products because i did install it in my car this is chris time fk7 and these are my opinions of the five things that i absolutely hate about this car thank you all for watching and peace out